Hi and welcome back to Parent Guide. Today we're going to be talking about decluttering and furnishing that special space you chose for your child's independent work and playtime. So unless you're super organized and clean, the special space you chose might have a little decluttering to do. So you're going to want to look at the space and really remove all the trash and all the unnecessary things. It's really best to just start fresh and get rid of most everything. Depending on the number of children you have, you're going to want to have one to four shelves um, in the area to put different works and toys on. You don't really need a lot more than this um, because less is better. You can also think about if you are going to want a, a wet or paint area where you can put a little laminate or floor protection down. Otherwise, you can just have these activities done um, at, at different times in the kitchen or the dining room area. You're also going to want to include a small table and small chair or chairs, depending on how many children you have, so that your child has the option to do some of their work and play at a small table. And sometimes they might do things on the carpet or on a floor. Now you're going to want to locate some trays and baskets. You probably want to set out about six trays or baskets per child. Um, and these are going to hold different works and toys inside of them so that your child can choose them separately and work with them and clean them up and put them back on the shelf when they're done. You're also going to want to locate some what we call work rugs. So we use these here at our school. It's just a small cotton placemat. You could also use a small rug or a hand towel. These are to designate spaces for your child to put their work on so that they have a better idea of where all the pieces are and it's easier for them to clean up. And also if you have siblings, then if another child wants to work with your other child, they have to ask first. They can say, may I play with you? And this way there is no arguing and pulling and stepping on each other's toys and works. You're going to want to place them in some sort of basket or holder. We have this type of thing. And they're going to want to stay in the holder in the same part of the room. You're going to want to remind the children that they're there and to use them. And I promise you, this is a lifesaver. So now that you have your special space decluttered and you have the furnishings put in, join us for our next video where I talk about creating and finding some of your existing toys and materials that you can start to stock your special area with. And remember, if you have any questions or want to get on our contact list for upcoming workshops, email us at peacecenters at gmail.com.